Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Hosting 101. This video is called How to Purchase a Domain Name. In the last video, we learned how to find the perfect domain name. And in this one, we're going to follow through and actually purchase it. So, the first thing you'll want to navigate back to bradhussey.ca slash resources and click on the link find the perfect domain name. Now if you're already here from the last video then you could just stay and continue on but otherwise click that link to come back here. And you're going to want to type in the domain name that you wish to purchase. So mine was surfinginwaikiki.com all right, and what you're going to want to do next is add that domain to your cart. So I'm going to add that. And you can choose at this point uh, to keep navigating the site, to, keep lo to look for more domain names, or you can get them right here. You can search for them right here. Or you can add these. You can add any of these if you just wanted to keep adding more domain names. Or if you're just interested in the one, then you can continue on. One note is uh, Canadians can purchase .ca domains. So if you wanted to do that, you can add that. However, I'm just going to continue to check out here. And at this point, GoDaddy is going to give you some upsells. And basically throughout the, pro the whole process until you finally give your credit card information and pay for the domain in your cart, you're going to get bombarded with upsells and they're all totally optional and up to you. Just read the description to find out if it's actually something that you want. So for example, private domain registration. You might want this, you might not. If you read here, why would I want this? All domain owners are required by ICANN, the governing authority on domain names, to publish contact information in the public who is directory. With private domain registration, we publish our information in place of yours. So your address, phone number, and more are hidden from prying eyes. See the difference below. So when you register uh, a public domain, you can actually search the Whois directory. You just Google Whois, and you can actually type in a domain name and see the registration information. So a public registration would look like this. You have the name, the email, your home address or your business address, uh, city, and your phone number. Um, and you might not want that. So if you wanted to get private registration, uh, GoDaddy will actually replace your registration info with theirs. So it, it's so it will be hidden. And they'll just display probably some GoDaddy address so people can't see your personal information. So it's up to you if you want to have private domain registration. It costs quite a bit more per year, but if that's really important to you, then, then it's worth the investment. You can also do certified domain with website seal. If you were selling something or if you had an e-commerce site, uh, you took people's personal information when they signed up for your site, this might be a good way to gain their trust and to have them know that you're not doing anything weird with their information and your site's protected. It's only $5 a year, so if that's something that's important to you, you can also add that. Continue on. So more upsells. Web hosting, web builder, just skip these. We're not going to be doing these at all. We're going to be using a different host, uh, so I would totally forego these. Business class email, don't even click this either. With the host that we're going to be using, you're supplied uh, or you have the ability to have unlimited emails and you won't be paying anything for them, so don't do this. All right, and here is the shopping cart, and you can see your current order, and you can review all the information. So here, the item I have is surfinginwaikiki.com. I can choose to certify my domain, another upsell. So this is a, a validation seal. It might actually be the last thing we just talked about. So that's what this is. If I change my mind, I can click on that. The term is how long you own the domain for. So you can choose one, two, three, five, or 10, depending on how long you want it for. The price varies based on how long you have it for, as you can see. So depending on how long you think you're gonna be using this domain, if this is a temporary business, like an event or something like that, and you just want to have the domain 
for a year, you can do that. Or if this is your business and you want to secure that domain for 10 years, then you can do that as well. You can also set in your account to have the purchase renew itself. So GoDaddy will just charge your credit card before your domain expires so somebody can't snatch it up. So here's the unit price and the total. I can add more domains here if I've changed my mind and I want to keep adding more. This is private domain registration right here. Um, this is how you remove items from your cart. You can just click on delete. So I can see my total here. If you have a coupon code or a referral code, something like that, you could put them in here and you can get a discount. And so this is the total. They also have this cool thing where you can round up for a charity. I think that's really neat. So instead of actually asking how much you'd like to donate to a charity, you can just round up here. I can donate 47 cents Canadian based on my total. That's easy enough. You can do that. You can choose your um, charity. And then if you click on checkout, this is where GoDaddy will prompt you to either log in with your account or create an account. So if you don't have an account already, go ahead and sign up. And if you do, log in with your customer number and your password. And then I will show you the next step. All right, so once you're logged in or you've created your account, you will be taken to the payment and checkout stage. Uh, this basically will show your billing information and your payment method. Just review that information, fill everything out properly, and then click on place your order. I'm not actually going to place my order here just because this is for demo purposes. I'm not actually going to buy the domain. So you go ahead and fill everything out. Choose your payment method, enter your credit card, and then place your order. All right, and then GoDaddy will send you um, an order confirmation email in your inbox. And you can review your information there. It gives you your customer number, your login name, receipt number, order total, so on and so forth. Basically a receipt. And what you can do is go back to your GoDaddy account and log in if you're not already logged in from your purchase. And then what you can do is click on domains because this is what you purchased and you'll see the domains that you own or the one that you just purchased. You can click on a domain and launch it. So I will launch this domain. So that brings up the domain details for that specific domain. And this page lets you know everything that you need to know about that specific domain. So when it was registered, when it expires, if it auto renews or not, the name servers, the contact info, everything like that. So just as a quick review, what we did, we clicked on the link to go to GoDaddy. We searched for our domain. We added the domain to our cart. And then we followed through with the purchase. Once we got our confirmation email, we logged into our GoDaddy account. And you can review all the information within your GoDaddy account about your domains. You can launch the domain control panel, and then you can review all of the domain details. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to purchase a hosting package. So I'll see you in that next video.